Happy Tuesday. There's a lot going on in the multifamily world. Today's tip will be on the highlights of the COVID-19 supplement payments for a multifamily housing notice, or CSP as we call it. But first, I'd just like to remind you that the CARES Act that provides a 120-day moratorium on evictions for non-payment of rent and late fees came to an end last Friday, July the 24th, 2020 at midnight. If your property has a signed forbearance agreement, you will not be able to process an eviction until the ending date of the forbearance agreement. You must follow the forbearance instructions that HUD put out in the multifamily COVID-19 questions and answers. However, if there is not a forbearance agreement on the property, owners and agents must give the residents a 30-day notice before beginning the eviction process. Several agencies are hoping that Congress implements an extension of the moratorium. However, they had not as of last Friday. Now for today's tip on CSP. Last Thursday, July the 23rd, the Office of Housing published a new housing notice. It's HUD Notice H2020-08, Availability of Funds for COVID-19 Supplemental Payments, CSP, for properties that are receiving project-based rental assistance. This notice applies to the administration of the following programs that we have listed here on your screen. HUD is making available CARES Act funds to offset property expenditures to help combat effects of COVID-19. The notice provides a method for owners to receive payments beyond the amounts that they already are entitled to under the terms of their current rental assistance contracts. The supplemental payments may cover additional cleaning, disinfecting, face coverings, also additional staff, and other expenses to help keep properties safe for their residents. The housing notice allows owners to submit payment requests for expenses incurred between March the 27th, 2020 and July the 31st, 2020. Submission of the requests are due to HUD or the contract administrator by August the 5th, 2020. This means owners and agents only have 10 business days from last Thursday to have the request submitted to HUD or to the CA, according to the notice. A draft of the CSP request form, which is HUD form, 52671-E is available for owners to use with final approval on OMB pending. They're pending. Go ahead, look over the funding and look over the request to make sure that you are familiar with the information to submit. Property owners and agents should contact their assigned HUD account executive or their contract administrator with any questions about property eligibility for CSP. For those properties that have Navigate as your contract administrator, Navigate has already or will be getting further information out to you. This information may help you complete the process. Participation in this program is not mandatory. It's strictly on a volunteer basis. A copy of this notice is available on our website and I told you that there's a lot going on. We look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for another Tuesday tip. Take care, move forward, and you guys stay safe. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.